Hello Libras. This is a singles read for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs to see how you guys can attract your next love. Let's see what's going on for my Libras. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Libra. Let's see how you guys currently are. Hmm. A lot of you are feeling like rejected, um, kind of lonely. I think that um, a lot of you are feeling like this is just the way that it's going to be um, here. Feeling kind of hurt currently. Hmm. Let's see what kind of person you guys normally attract. What kind of person does Libra normally attract? This is somebody that likes to travel. This is somebody that likes to go out. That, you know, they use the gift of gab. They like to communicate. They may be somebody that um, is good with their words. Um, they probably usually like love bomb in a sense, tell you everything that you want to hear. Um, and they like to move very fast. In connections okay hmm let's see what you guys need to show off more about yourself what does Libra need to show off more about themselves that you can be very decisive okay um, making making decisions and sticking with them not making excuses for people, making excuses for situations, um, realizing what it is that you need to do and just doing, doing it. Okay. Speaking your truth and not allowing bullshit into your space. Okay. Seeing what it is that you really need to see, taking the blinders off and making a decisive choice about it. Okay. Let's see what you guys need to contribute here. What do my Libras need to contribute? Hmm. I think this is um, less stress. I think this is less um, ambiguity. This is like being trapped in your own mental prison. Um, I think this is not overthinking things. Again, this is like taking the blinders off, seeing things clearly, not what you want to see, knowing the truth in situations, not making you know a huge deal about things that um, that shouldn't be made a huge deal about. I think this is being like way more logical, way more grounded in your choices. Okay, using your logic to get out of situations even. Okay. Not holding on to things that um that are not good for you. Not concerning yourself, worrying about things that are not good for you, um, and staying fixed on those things, you know. Okay. Let's see what you guys need to accept about yourselves here. What does Libra need to accept about themselves? That you guys kind of stay in your head a lot. You stay in your head a lot. You think about things. You dissect things to the T. Like you break down the atoms to like minute atoms. Whatever that is. Okay. Everything is like picked apart. And then you stay in your own little world way too long here. A lot of you guys, um, you know, you go into recluse. And you stay there and you stay all in your head about things. Too much and too long here. Um, you don't engage with people enough, I feel. 
I think you remove yourself. Um, maybe you guys ghost people um, without actually having like um, all the knowledge without using your logical skills that Libras are known for. Um, I think maybe you guys come up with things a lot of the times that um, you focus on heavily, like your own version of, you know, what is real and what's true, you know, okay? But a lot of you, you know, you remove yourself. It's like you, you, you go into a shell and you kind of just stay there as a hermit. You stay there. And I think you, you feel like you can figure things out all on your own. You don't need any help, you know. Let's see. <clears throat> what kind of love you guys need? What kind of love do my Libras need? kind of love do my Libras need? Here's your card. You need one that is true. You need one where, you know, the person is not judgmental, not superficial. Um, somebody that wants to do the right thing. Somebody that's not very, um, like, overly emotional. They, you know, do things from a logical standpoint. Most of the time, you know, but they do what's right. They do what's right and just. Let's see if you guys are ready for love. My Libra's ready for love. I think you definitely are, for sure, here. And I feel like, you know, there's something coming towards you guys in the spring. Um, between the spring of this year and the spring of next year here. Um, and I think that it could be with the fire sign more than likely. Um, maybe Libra like yourself even. I'm feeling more Aries energy. Aries is your opposite sign. Um, but it could be a Leo or a Sagittarius even. I feel Sagittarius. Um, you know, here with this Eight of Wands, but I think that, you know, you guys do not need somebody that is, um, you know, they move very fast or they are quick with their tongue, you know, um, want to flood you with compliments and, you know, because you see right through that. So I feel like there's a fire sign individual that, um, that you guys probably will encounter. Um, between this spring and next spring, okay? Let's see how you will find love. Hmm. By being your confident, gorgeous self, feeling um, like you deserve it. By standing by your your convictions you know if you want commitment do not allow anybody to make you waver from that knowing what you want and sticking by it um that's earth energy there taurus virgo capricorn okay let's see what type of attributes your next partner should have what type of attributes should your next partner have hmm they need to love themselves but i feel like they need to come with a genuine love okay they need to not only love themselves, but be willing to um, be open and honest with their emotions, I feel. Like genuine emotions, nothing superficial. Okay. Let's see what else. And they need to be able to tell you. Hmm. It's going to be somebody I feel like um, maybe Scorpio energy here. Um, does not have to be, but there's somebody that's going to feel very familiar to you. I feel that's coming into your life. I feel strongly in the next few months, probably the next seven months or so, um, six to seven months. Um, that is, um, it's going to be a soulmate. 
Now, and I feel like this is gonna this is something like that's going to be significant for you guys with this ace of cups and the six of cups. Okay. Somebody's gonna be very loving. Um, somebody that's going to want to take care of you. They're going to probably give you tokens of their love, even. This person I feel is going to be genuine. Okay. So my Libra friends, that's what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you soon.